the problem here is is uh, what I'm looking at right here. This is a uh, collection of uh, black screen effects, just like green screen effects, and they're all way too crusty here on YouTube. And I just like to recommend to everybody so they know that what you need to do is you need to um, basically just uh, upload them at like 4K, even if you did the effects in like 1080s worth of even, you know, like like gaseous or electrical render space or whatever. So it's a little less of a, you know, pixelated look because it's got an advanced algorithm to it because it's digital. Um, still, you got to upload it at higher definition because YouTube's 1080p bitrate is pretty bad. So uh, it doesn't matter. You just got to upscale that so that, you know, people can download it at 4K or else the effects that just aren't good enough even as references for things like to ins like insert something better here or something they just you know i'm just trying to be helpful uh let's see here that's about it i guess i forgot to mention that uh all youtube videos with effects should be uploaded in black screen not green screen because that's harder to chroma key out with a more simplistic editor uh, and it's just annoying to do anyway. Like I always say, when the effects are placed in a black environment, then it, nobody notices anything and you can just key them right in with minimal effort. Any PNG style effects where like the exterior of everything is cut out around an explosion or anything of the CG object moving even a real thing, um, the important thing to note here is, and this may not be the movie industry, but people uploading videos online for me to use for silly videos and things, uh, green screen will always leave a green hue unless you have an advanced editor, whereas the editors I work with aren't that advanced, and so the easiest thing to subtract for around the edges is darkness, and so it's best to put all those type of effects in a black environment because then when you go to... Uh, make the edges translucent and everything it all disappears and the perceived blackness doesn't mean anything to people's eyes whereas a perceived green hue around the edges of things means a lot you can basically remove all the dark anyways whereas you can't remove a light color of green it's too bleeding people didn't used to do that because they're so low energy but come on guys like just up the amplitudes amplitudes like our DJI at 24 frames has more interleaving in the digital file, which means more electricity, than their big jumbo juicy movie cameras. Yeah, so the interleaving is for energy carryover between friend, frames while all the frames are the same in order to sponsor each other's sort of existence and, and flow through so that you look like you're looking at a more continuous image even at 24 with a little assistance from LiDAR and some you know flashes of light bouncing back. But uh, my point is this, you green screen out people doing things into scenes and stuff or whatever color you're using depending upon their clothing and eye color, but when you're adding effects they should always be in a black background. I, I don't know why I'm explaining this but I feel like it's necessary because everybody's kind of new at a certain point and don't know the old methodologies a lot.